Hi, how you doing, gang? It's Lee here for the 911 Blacklist. Doing well, giving you a bit of an introduction, really. I really do hope you can stick around for 911 Raw. I'll be talking a bit more about that in just a second. But first, and I think this is uh, quite important, really. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about what's been up with me, and uh, have I been under any duress? Have there any problems? What's going on? Uh, basically, what it is, uh, the other week I was really unwell. I kind of picked up a bug in work called the norovirus, which was really, really nasty. And I've been, I was right in the middle of doing an episode for the 911 Blacklist. And that is the latest episode, which I've actually just recently put up. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out. It's had a couple of thousand views um, already and uh, it's doing quite well. Uh, but people have said about the commentary on it, it'd been a bit shaky, and so uh, it's just a bit of an explanation, really. I think the reason for that is because I was not, you know, on top form. You know, I think it's, uh, I think it's common knowledge now. I'm not exactly one of the the best commentators in the world when it comes to uh, doing these YouTube videos. But yeah, I, I was really, really unwell, and so I thought, you know, I'll, shall I put it out? Or should I just wait and do it again? But I thought, sorry, I'm just going to do it because you guys uh, just wanted to put an episode out there for you guys. So I did it, and I, I thought it was okay enough to be put out there. But it's interesting that you guys picked up that I wasn't actually very well, or something was not quite right. Uh, so uh, kudos to you lot, all right? So what's the other things going on? 911 Raw is coming up just straight after this. It's a brand new subgenre uh, which I'm I'm going to be trying out. It's all an experiment. If it works it works, if it doesn't it doesn't. But basically it's 911 uh, raw footage which um there is a lot of it out there but I'm trying to get the top quality high definition uh footage which I'm going to edit and produce myself. So we really do hope you can check that out, watch it. And uh, I'll be trying to get as much as possible uh, specifically for you guys, but only high quality stuff. Plus, I'll be putting out uh, a brand, another brand new subgenre um, called 911 Q&A. It's going to be one question a day. And it is that simple. One question a day. And uh, I'm not going to go into that in too much detail because hopefully that'll explain itself as it comes along. So I really do hope you can stick around for 911 raw and you'll see me for more and i hope that just explains a bit why i've been away check you soon guys ta-da peace out
and get him out. Don't tell me I don't care. I don't care. Get out. What's your badge number? Get out. Get don't worry about number. it. Don't turn around. 44. Get out. Who is that guy? Get that guy. There's an emergency going down. I understand. He's office for emergency management. All right? Tell your guy to go back where he's supposed to be at on the throne. Look, they're right. Look at that. of the World Trade Center. You can see the two towers. The debris continues to fall and to rain on the people below. There are people hanging from the windows, 90 stories up, and a number of bodies have actually hit the pavement. Another one? Take two. Take two and two, one. This is as close as we can get to the base of the World Trade Center. You can see the firemen assembled here, the police officers, FBI agents, and you can see the two towers, a huge explosion now.
this is as close as we can get to the base of the World Trade Center. You can see the firemen assembled here, the police officers, FBI agents. And you can see the two towers, a huge explosion now waiting to play on all of us. This is as close as we can get to the base of the World Trade Center. You can see the firemen assembled here, the police officers, FBI agents. Marty, I'm Megan. I'm rolling, I'm rolling. All right. We don't know what's happened inside. What we know we have to do is just keep running the other way. The firemen are going this way, so are the police officers. We don't know what's happening. What do you what do you think? Nothing. Other yeah. 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 Okay, this is like Why are they pulling us out of here? Because the North Tower is leaning. The North Tower. The North Tower is leaning. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, there it goes! Get in, here comes the cloud. The cloud is coming. Keep going. Go, 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 go! Get inside! It's gonna jump right over this building. It's gonna jump over the building. Here it comes! It's gonna jump right over this building. Get in here! Get in here, Marty! Get out of here. 
Sergeant Churchill on here. Sergeant Churchill on here. Well, fucking dead issues, huh? What do you think? Unbelievable. Never seen anything like it in my life. I don't know. Keep going for it. Tell me what happened. What'd you see? I saw, I don't know, I saw windows coming out of the building and the ceiling falling on the floor where I was walking. That's when we started heading for the exit. And uh, <coughs> then we got downstairs. We got to the first floor from the second lobby, floor. And all of a sudden it was this big explosion. I don't know if yeah, everything was, went Just big. like what you just seen, that's what we went through before we came out of the building. Then when we get out the building, then another smoke cloud. Okay, better go for that smoke cloud. Mom, I just want you to know I'm all right. I don't know what else to tell you. We came from the Eddie second floor, and I don't know what it is. I don't know. I hope you got it okay. That's all I can say. I don't know what. We saw a shadow. It looked like a plane. Next thing we know, it was boom, and the floor started shaking. And then we saw debris fall down, and next thing we know, we had to get out of the building. We stuck on the stairs for a while. We finally got down to the lobby. Then we get to the lobby, it was this big explosion. I don't know what it was. It's a cloud, just like what you just saw. Big cloud of smoke. Like we that. thought we escaped that. We escaped and then, then we wanted to come out and run We saw a wall of clouds like pyroplastic. It was heading toward us. So That's when we started running. I thought we'd be able to unrun it, but we couldn't. It was pitch black. It was like, uh, it was like uh, a comet just hit the earth. Like a comet? Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at your clouds. <laughs> Whatever this stuff is, I hope it doesn't kill you. What? This what? Is my, I was on 82nd. I was consul consulting there uh, for the real estate department. And uh, we just, <clears throat> we first heard the blast. And then the ceiling in our office started falling down and the, and the wiring behind the ceiling, everything started falling. And we, we looked out the window, we saw windows coming down from above. That's when I started saying that, well, this is not just an ordinary emergency. It must be something really big. Before this second explosion, somebody was telling us a, a plane hit the building, but we don't know about it. I was hoping it's not a suicide bomber or something. But, Come on over here. Hold on. <laughs> 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 Do they try one? Second one. 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 Dropping my daughter off from school, riding along the bike path along the river, and I saw a big airplane over my head, very low. And I looked up and I thought, "What in the world is this plane doing here? It's too low." And I looked up behind me and I saw this huge airplane crash into the side of the World Trade Center. And then I was, I was in shock, as was everyone, and we were standing there talking, "How could something like this happen?" And then all of a sudden, a smaller airplane slammed right into the other tower. I saw both of them happen. It was horrible. When you, when you saw the second one happen, what did it look and like? It was a small, a much smaller plane, but it, uh, someone said it looked like a military plane, but I'm not sure. I'm not, I, I don't know much about airplanes. All I know is I saw both of them slam into the building, and it was a horrible thing. Did this, it look like they tried to stop at all or change? No, or no. It looked very deliberate to me. I mean, how could you miss the World Trade Center? Well, thank you, Ms.
subway cover so you know with the jacket over and the three yeah, you know all of us huddled together there was you know dust on everywhere oh my god that's Thank <laughs> you. 